Welcome to Skis, Suds, and Slices 2020. I'm Dave Schaefer, the Executive Director, and I'm so glad that you've joined us. At Chester Bowl, we believe that anyone should be able to participate in our programs, the Winter Ski and Snowboard Program or Summer Camp, regardless of their income or their ability to pay. I'm guessing you're here because you believe this too, and tonight you are helping us support our scholarship fund. Last winter, we awarded over $28,000 in scholarships to 109 different families. And on an average summer, we award $8,000 in summer camp scholarships. That's over 260 days of camp provided through scholarship. So thank you for being here and thank you for helping share that mission and support our scholarship fund. Tonight's gonna to be filled with stories. It's going to be filled with live music. Hopefully you'll be frantically bidding on the side, trying to get your favorite silent auction items, buying raffle tickets and overall having a good time. There is a chat function. So please throughout the night, share stories, ask questions. Let's, even though we can't be in person to talk, let's make this as interactive of an event as we possibly can. Bidding is open on silent auction items and that will be open until nine o'clock tonight. So even after the event has closed, you can still bid at until nine o'clock at night tonight. So keep checking on those. Um, when you bid on an item, you can put a maximum bid. So if there's a raise that someone else puts on, it can automatically raise you up to your predetermined limit. You'll also get text notifications if you get outbid. So we do recommend that you have two different screens, one to watch this video and the other to be able to keep bidding as we go. Also, we'd love to hear some of your stories about why you support Chester Bowl. You'll hear from some participants throughout this presentation, uh, but we really want to hear about your story. So please, let's keep those stories and conversations going in that chat function. Again, thank you for joining us. We're so appreciative that you are part of the Chester Bowl community. One of my favorite things about Summer in Duluth is coming to the Chester Creek Concert Series, where every Tuesday night, music's performed right here on this very stage. Lots of memories have been made here. If you have any great memories, please share those in the chat function. I remember the first time I heard Brianne Marie and the Front Porch Sinners sing here, and what stood out to me the most was their powerful cover of Zombies. I've never heard anything like it before or since. We were so fortunate to have them performing for us, so I hope you enjoy this duet from Brianne and Evan. Hi, my name is Brianne Marie and this is Evan Tepler. We are in the band Brianne Marie and the Front Porch Sinners and we came here to tell you that we love Chester Bowl. We love the park, we love everything about it. Um, I grew up in Central Hillside but also Kenwood and as you know Chester Bowl is right in the middle of those two spaces. So it's a home away from home. Our band has played in the park a couple times mm -hmm. um, for music in the park and we absolutely mm -hmm. adore um, the staff. They are amazing. Dave, we love you. So we think that um, people in this community and beyond should be supporting a park like Chester Bowl. Um, so thank you for your support and we're going to play a song um, for you all and it is called Good Bones. It's off our new album, Juniper. And this song is about um, saying goodbye to something. As you know, Chester Bowl has been through some changes and uh, it's hard to say goodbye to things like the merry-go-round or jumping over the old stone bridge because now it's a, a, a safe wooden bridge. Um, but that's okay. And it's okay to be uh, sad about those things because we have the memories. So this is um, a love letter and a goodbye message to the house we sold last year. It's called Good Bones. A house is not a home. A body is more than bones. I'm heavy as a stone. They'll say that about you 
Oh, I never forget you've got good bones. Ooh. Road is not the way when the destinations change. I'll never be the same as I was here. This room is no longer. Thank you for supporting Chester Bowl. Bye. What Chester Bowl means to me is it's magical. It is a place where kids can be kids. It is a place where families can come together regardless of age and just have fun. It's a place where people learn to ski and snowboard and they're encouraged regardless of if they've ever done it before or however many years they've been a skier. It's a place that encourages friendship, encourages volunteerism, encourages community. It's a strong, strong, long lasting community that has decades of people involved and memories. Chester Bowl is magical. Chester Bowl is lovely. Chester Bowl is fun. Chester Bowl is Beatles music on Friday nights. Chester Bowl is magical and unique and I love Chester Bowl. At Chester Bowl, we believe in community, but community is not a building, it is not a place, it is not the activities you do together, the community is the people. One of the strongest leaders the Chester Bowl community has ever had is Jeff Provost. He was a board member and board chair for many years and a volunteer for years beyond that. His family grew in the park together and he recently was able to ski with his first grandchild. Unfortunately, our community lost Jeff this last spring, and we are so grateful that his family has chosen to honor him with a $2,000 gift to our scholarship program. We sat down with his wife, Brenda, and two of his children, Tom and David, to find out more about what Chester Bowl means to their family and why they chose to honor him with the gift to our scholarship fund. Jeff and I moved into the neighborhood in 1981, and so Chester actually sits basically in our backyard. So Jeff and I were in our early 20s at the time. 
I currently live in the same house in the same neighborhood with the same neighbors and um, it's actually our backyard. This whole park is our backyard. Our kids played here, um, went to summer camp here, learned to ski here, worked here, um, and now have one of them, our, our daughter has her own kids that have learned to ski here and love it here. This has been our backyard since we were kids. Uh, Tom and I are twins. Uh, we were always together and this is where we always ended up. So in the winter time we were up here skiing. Some of my earliest memories are, you know, throwing my boots over one shoulder, throwing my skis over the other shoulder and walking up here and going skiing. Um, you know, to have that sort of access to a place like this is something that a lot of people don't have and you know, very fortunate that, you know, we could come up here and had a spot to be a uh, safe place to come up and get in trouble. So uh, <laughs> we gave the uh, ski patrols a lot of trouble while we were kids, which uh, I think is a universal thing. I think that happens every day. We grew up in it. We worked in it. And I yeah. mean... This was our first job, was teaching ski lessons right over there on the hill. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, from the incredible exchange to working the chairlift and doing everything. We, we spent a lot of time here and yeah. good place to grow up with. Chester Bowl actually is where Jeff and I started skiing together as a couple. Um, I had not skied since I was a young teenager, and um, I don't think Jeff really ever skied. So we came here, took the adult lessons when our kids were very small. Um, Megan was probably four or five years old at the time. And so we both got back into skiing here at Chester Bowl. And it became Jeff's life sport. Um, I ended up not sticking with downhill skiing or cross country skiing because I have two bionic knees now. So I don't <laughs> do anything that could compromise those anymore, but Jeff stuck with it through his whole life and it was the one sport that he thoroughly in was in love with he enjoyed it to its fullest he skied at least a couple days a week and then every weekend and we would come up here and the kids would race on sundays and it just kind of became our second home. We made a lot of friends here that we still keep in touch with. It's just been a great place to have in your backyard. Awesome. Why, why did you choose to honor Jeff with the donation of the scholarship fund? This would be what he would want. Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, it was his life sport. It was really the only sport that he really thoroughly enjoyed doing. Um, the rest of us are all fairly outdoorsy, athletic, ambitious folks. And Jeff was pretty laid back and easygoing and not so much of an outdoorsy person as he got older, but getting outside to ski was um, his goal every winter was to get out and ski and be active and mm -hmm. thoroughly enjoy it. So I mean, this, this is a perfect way to honor his memory, his legacy. It's it's him yeah you can go ski anywhere in the world but this is always home you know this is our heart and soul and uh, that 
saw it every time in our father's face, you know, come up here, it'd be lessons night or race night or what, whatever. He was always happy, you know, with the kids, seeing the kids learning, people, people just learning how to ski made, you know, made his day every time. So, yeah, he always had a story where uh, we used to go to Michigan skiing quite a bit when we were younger. We'd go on a couple families, we'd go on a ski trip there. And he was sitting on the chairlift one day, and here's all the kid, Chester Bowl kids. And you learn to ski at Chester Bowl, and it's point to ski straight down the hill, go down as fast as you can, and when you get to the bottom, get in line and do it all over again. And he was on the chairlift with some people that you know didn't know us, had no you know strangers, and here comes the Chester Bowl crew flying down the hill. We were all 10 years old, not a care in the world everybody thinking wow look at those kids go you know i can't believe they're going that fast they're not even turning and he said oh yeah those are chester bowl kids you know? and you know we we got the opportunity to ski by learning up here um, a lot of folks you know in duluth in general might not have that same opportunity you know going somewhere else where you know we have free lessons here during christmas break and lift tickets are reasonable um, so there's a lot of opportunity to get people outside in the winter here. And I think he really enjoyed that and to be able to share that with, with others and share that with strangers, I think he'd be really proud that that's something that, you know, we can try to help provide. So I think he, he would really, you know, looking down and really enjoy that, you know, skiing in general is continuing here at Chester Bowl and, and being able to spread that joy to other families. So. Jeff always said his theory was any child that could ski at Chester Bowl could ski anywhere. Generations of kids have loved playing on our playground, whether it's the swings, the slides, or all the spinning devices. And while we do love the spin tree that we have there now, the old carousel was infamous for excitement and a few injuries. And while that is not with us anymore, um, it does feature prominently in this music video by Brianne Marie and the Front Porch Sinners, shot right here in Chester Bowl.
Thank you so much, Brianne Marie and the Front Porch Centers for performing for us. I so much appreciate it. I love the music. And if those of you watching loved it too, they do have their new album, Juniper, being funded by Kickstarter. Look it up, check them out, support them, and then enjoy that new album. I support Chester Bowl because of um, the emphasis on connecting people with nature and the freedom um, that is found within the park. I support Chester Bowl because it is a life-changing experience for families. And it has made such a positive impact on both individuals and our community. I support Chester Bowl because it not only provides a place for kids to be outside in a safe environment, but also for the community to gather in a healthy outdoor activity and to support one another. Are you feeling lucky today? Then you should definitely buy raffle tickets. Fortunately, just by buying an event ticket, you do automatically have one entry into our raffle, but if you'd like to buy more, is under the silent auction items and it has its own tab and also is item number two. Our donors have given us six phenomenal raffle prizes, a pizza a month for a year from Vita Pizza, two different prizes of a pizza a month a year from Topper's Pizza, a growler a month for a year from Bent Paddle, a literal cooler full of alcohol, wines and growlers and crowlers and cider, um, and the final prize of a crowler a month for a year from Ursa Minor. So buy your tickets now. The more tickets you have, the more chances you have to win. I support Chester Bowl because it is a great place to interact with families. There's lots of programs to get kids and adults outside, and um, I think it's a real gem of our community. I support Chester Bowl because it's a part of my community, and I want my girls growing up outside. I support Chester Bowl because of the community. I have experienced this level of community in very few other places in my life. There is magic at Chester Bowl. Black River Review is no stranger to Chester Bowl. They've performed on our stage and their banjo player Tim has also been on the sound crew for many of our Chester Creek Concert Series concerts. We're delighted that they performed for us. They came out this last Sunday on what was probably the last day of summer and performed right here in the old tennis courts near the chalet. I hope you enjoy their music as much as I do. Take a step, I'm gonna get you into the whole thing about a song I never sang before. Kick around the ground and the feet of leaves. Blowing off the wind, blowing through the trees. There ain't a thing I can do about it. There ain't a word I can't say. It's like living in a deep dark dungeon, baby. I don't know why I feel this way. Follow down the path leading to the woods, looking at the land where the white man. Down the path, there's a fog in the trail. Either left or right, I might doom to fail. All I know is my head's up high. I make my own damn rope before life passes by. There ain't a thing I can do about it. There ain't a word I can't say. It's like living in a deep, dark dungeon, baby. Don't know how I feel this way.
before life passes by. Make my own damn move before life passes by. Make my own damn move before life passes by. I support Chester Bowl because the programming and the landscape have given my daughters opportunities to be outside and play all year long and really learn how to have adventures no matter what the weather is. It's also really given them an opportunity to find a place of belonging in a really inclusive environment that has allowed them to take on leadership roles as well as opportunities to volunteer and really see what it means to be a member of the community at a very young age. Um, I think that Chester Bowl is a real treasure for our community and it's truly enriched our family and our lifestyle. Tom Storm is a legend at Chester Bowl. He was the director here for 40 years. He and his family lived in the chalet. His name is even on the building. And for all the years I've known Tom, I realize I've never gotten the full story on how the scholarship program started and what motivated him to make sure anyone could participate here regardless of income. Tom and I sat down to talk about it, and here's what he had to say. There was uh, a point where I could see that there was really a lot of families that had financial challenges in being able to pay for their kids to ski, even though the amount is very reasonable. And so at a certain point, I just made an executive decision that no family would ever not be allowed to ski here because of finances. And that's how it started. And um, I always wanted to make it very easy for people so they didn't have to fill out a scholarship form. I know that uh, it's very challenging for some people to ask for help. And I just wanted to make it easy and, you know, give me a call. It was before texting and emails and all that stuff. So, you know, just give me a call or let me know. And, you know, you've got a scholarship. And uh, what I found happened was for the most part, the people that got scholarships were so grateful for that, that they went above and beyond for their volunteer hours. And then a number of people, once their finances changed for their household, then they came and paid full fare. And they were happy to do that. And I saw it help so many families, especially people with multiple children, you know, that had a lot of children and their kids wouldn't have been able to do this otherwise. And what a difference. So many wonderful stories. There was uh, a boy who had physical challenges. And uh, I told the parents at the lottery night, I said, if you don't give up, we can teach you or your children to ski. If you don't give up. If you give up, you know, then we can't do anything. But if you don't give up. So this boy was at it for two years before he finally got to go up the lift. He, you know, he had physical challenges and he had to figure it out and so on. And then after that, when he was skiing independently, his mother told me that this was the first thing like this that he had ever been able to do by himself independently. And it just made all the difference in the world. And when their finances changed, she gave a nice donation to Chester Bowl because it had made such a difference for her and her husband. It first started as strictly uh, a ski scholarship, and then gradually, as the summer program uh, developed and was in such demand, then it became a summer scholarship also. Mm -hmm. so. now, I, I never would have guessed um, so many scholarships would be awarded, but. I, I think that's a, a huge reason why people absolutely love this program, support this program. It's just meant, meant so much for the community. I support Chester Bowl because without having the opportunity to, to be here as a child and learn to ski here and spend time outside, uh, I wouldn't enjoy the same things I do today and traveling and being in the out of doors. I support Chester Bowl because there is nothing like this place, nothing like it for giving access to families who otherwise wouldn't be able to ski or snowboard, um, nothing like it for the camaraderie, the sense of family, and when we moved to Duluth, people said the one thing you absolutely have to do is be part of Chester Bowl. Who does have the best pizza in town? 
It's a debate that's been raging for years and every year at Skis, Suds and Slices, we are able to have people sample the pizza and vote for their Twin Ports best pizza. The traveling trophy is currently at Bulldog. You'll be getting a text momentarily with the link for you to vote for this year's Twin Ports best pizza. Now back to the music. The other day I asked Jenny L. Tink if I could record a short clip of her saying why she supports Chester Bowl for this program and found out that her love for Chester goes even deeper than I knew. Let's hear more directly from Jenny. So 2020 has been a hard year for almost everybody. Um, and in my family, there were all of the challenges that we have all experienced, but also this year I lost both my mom and my dad. Um, growing up though, I had wonderful role models for what it meant to put your time and effort and your dollars um, into something that makes a difference in people's lives. Both of my parents were very active on nonprofit organization boards, um, particularly things that had to do with helping people and nature. That was a passion of theirs. So one of the really wonderful things they did was ask that um, a thousand dollars uh, be donated in their memory um, to a nonprofit organization that, that was close to my heart. And there was no question at all that um, that, that would be Chester Bowl. My parents lived in eastern Wisconsin. They weren't able, able to travel to Duluth. They never actually came to Chester Bowl, but they felt like part of the extended Chester Bowl family. They saw videos of my daughters doing races. 
um, heard stories about their adventures on the slopes and heard me talk about what a special place Chester Bowl is. And so really they, they anticipated that this might be the place where their, their memorial donation went. And so I think that in a year when so many things are uncertain, um, one of the things that we really can count on is the importance of community, even in a COVID year. Um, the sense of wonder and sense of place that we get from hanging out, not only in Duluth, but particularly in Chester Park. And so I just felt like it was really important to support the scholarship fund um, and to do what I can do to help Chester Bowl keep going and thrive well into the future. Coming to Chester Bowl for 20 years now, um, all my kids uh, learned how to ski. Um, I support Chester Bowl because it was a great place for me to have the kids grow up, learn how to ski, meet new friends, for me to meet their friends, and then also for me to meet all of the families. I support Chester Bowl because Chester Bowl is home. It's where I grew up, it's where my family grew up, and it's just a wonderful place to, to be. We've heard some powerful stories today about people who love the Chester Bowl community and have given to make sure that our scholarship program can continue to make every family able to ski and snowboard here regardless of their ability to pay. Before the event even started, we had secured $7,000 in donations from generous sponsors um, like the Provost family, the Eltink family, Ski Hut, LHB, and Rotary Club 25. So thank you to all of those sponsors. Now my challenge to you, you've already given by buying a ticket, maybe you've purchased a raffle item, maybe you're still in line for some of those silent auction items, but we challenge you to make a donation as well. Can we match the $7,000 in donations we've already made with 7,000 new dollars in donations? You can do that anytime through this platform. Um, you can wait until the end of the night to see what silent auction items you did and did not get and make your decision then. Really, you can give any time through the weekend to have it count as part of this challenge and our fundraiser. This is a tough time of year for gift giving. People start to think about what items they might want to get for friends and family or have given to them. Maybe silent auction items will fit that, but maybe you want to make a gift in someone's honor for the holidays. Um, so please think about all these things. Think about the benefit that our program has on the community, enabling anyone to participate, regardless of their income or if they have a single dollar that they can pay. And we hope that you choose to give generously as a result. Thank you so much.
I support Chester Bowl because it gets us all outside. I support Chester Bowl because it gives my kids a place to spend their summers outside in a fun, safe environment. We love the location. The staff is really amazing. That's why we love Chester Bowl. I support Chester Bowl because being able to play and work together in community where everybody is welcome is a pretty special thing. Well, I hope you've been enjoying Black River Review so far. I love their music, but we have something very special tonight. This is a brand new song from them recorded just for us. Here is the world premiere of Run Away. I run away, try to hide. You swim in the water till the whole damn thing on guy. And you can't find what ain't there. We change the world and y'all, they don't care. In my mind just can't help So I pull myself inside So we can walk into the whole damn thing and cry Won't you come on down Stay for a while Get the dream again My crack a little smile Them simple things Don't you One of the things I love about my job is seeing the impact that we as Chester Bowl have on the community. And that especially comes out with our scholarship program. I remember getting an email from a mom who, this was after the season had started and she had scrounged gear together for her kids. She wanted to get them the season pass and she couldn't immediately afford the $205 that was the cost that year. So she'd emailed late saying she had finally gotten the money together and was ready to sign up and wanted to know the next steps. So I replied and I gave her the information. I also let her know about the scholarship fund and that if they couldn't afford to pay the entire amount, that was okay. They could pay what they could and receive a scholarship for the rest. Her reply was immediate and you could just feel the emotion coming through because she said, oh my goodness, if I could pay $105 and get a $100 scholarship, that means that I can go grocery shopping again before my next paycheck. Here's a mom that was willing to make the choice between filling the fridge or having your kids ski and snowboard here at Chester Bowl. What a hard choice. And I felt so lucky to be able to be in the position to say, you don't need to have that choice. There are stories like this all the time at Chester Bowl and your support for us, for Ski Suds and Slices, will help us continue to award that $28,000 in scholarships that we gave out last year. So thank you so much for being a donor. We appreciate you. I support Chester Bowl because it's a great place for families to come and 
learn how to ski and hang out and have a great time. Support Chesterville because snowboarding and this community have been a huge part of my life and I want to share that with as many people as possible. I support Chesterville because this is where my family lived and grew up. I support Chester Bowl because it's just a tremendous program. Uh, we started off here close to 10 years ago now and, and didn't have a clue about skiing and um, got my daughter into the program. She got her fitted, threw some skis on her, started her racing, and she just enjoys the heck out of it. And it's a tremendous sport to get anybody involved in. It's a, it's a lifetime sport. It's not just something you do you know, for two, three years while you're in high school and then you're done you continue to do it your entire life. So, tremendous, tremendous program. Can't say enough about it. Well, thank you for being part of Skis, Suds and Slices 2020. We're so glad that you tuned into the live stream and we are so glad that you are a part of Chester Bowl. And although our live stream is almost ending, the event itself is not. There are several ways you can still be part of it. First of all, bidding on auction items is open until 9 p.m. So if you look at your profile icon in the upper right-hand corner, you can see where you've been outbid and where you're still the highest bidder. Keep track of that to make sure you get what you want. Um, and if you haven't already thought about this, it's a great time to start Christmas shopping using our silent auction items as, as a starting point for that. Um, at nine o'clock, you'll find out what you did and did not win. And at that point, you can start thinking about picking them up. So if you um, did win things, you can come by the chalet during any of our ski fitting times next week to pick them up. That is Monday through Thursday between 5.30 and 8.30 p.m. And again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from noon until three. If those times don't work, you can call in the chalet or email me, dave at chesterbowl.org to arrange for a different time. You can still buy raffle tickets through the weekend. We will do the final raffle drawing on Monday. And then also we will announce the winner of the raffles and the Twin Ports Best Pizza on Monday. So if you have not yet voted, make sure that you do so. We have an event tomorrow. Earth Rider is hosting a Chester Bowl Day with a 6 to 9 p.m. outdoor concert. 
Boss Mama and the Jebberhooch are playing featuring Colleen Myrie. So make sure to come out and check that out. A percentage of beer sales are going back to Chester Bowl to benefit our sponsorship or our scholarship fund. So we hope that you check that out um, tomorrow night. Also, Vicre for the entire month of November is donating a dollar for every cocktail kit sold back to Chester. Um, so if you go there, you know you'll be supporting us. And then Brian Barber has a beautiful Chester Bowl print that is available and $10 of each print is going back to support Chester Bowl. More information on all of those um, is on our bidding software on the support through businesses tab. Um, you also get a punch card as part of the event. So look for information in your texts about that soon. You That is eligible to give you $5 off uh, $25 or more purchase at Topper's Pizza, plus a buy one, get one deal at Vicre, Bent Paddle, Wild State Cider, Earth Rider, and Blacklist. So thanks to all of those folks for being part of the event. And I do have a lot of people I want to thank. First of all, I have been missing live music. So to have Black River Review and Brianne Marie and the Front Porch Centers participate brought so much to this event. Thank you to all of you. Um, we appreciate you and your music was beautiful. Thanks. Um, we also want to thank the folks in the restaurant industry. We know it's been tough. So for Vita Pizza, Topper's Pizza, and Bulldog Pizza to still support us means so much. Please support them with your business as well as a thank you. Same thing with the folks in the beverage industry. Um, we want to thank Vicre, Bent Paddle, Wild State Cider, Duluth Cider, Earth Rider, Ursa Minor, and Blacklist, all for participating in Skis, Suds, and Slices. We hope to have all of you and all of them back in person for our 2021 event, um, but we love that they were able to participate in this year's virtual version. As mentioned earlier, we did have $7,000 raised in advance of this event. So thank you to those sponsors who were part of that, including the Rotary Club, the Provost family, the l -Tank family, um, LHB, and Ski Hut, as well as a few other anonymous donors. And hopefully in the back of your mind, um, we're still working to get to our $7,000 match. And hopefully you're thinking, you know, maybe you do or don't get all the silent auction items you're looking for, but could you make one last donation? Because that's what this event is all about helping us make sure that we can sponsor every scholarship request um, that we would receive this winter and in the future as well. So please um, continue considering donating generously and thank you so much to those of you who have already made that commitment. Donations can be made through our bidding site as well. Look for item number one. I want to thank Kelly LaCour and Sonia Morris. They are the two co-chairs for this event. Thank you for all the work you did behind the scenes to make this event a success, as well as all the other volunteers um, that have been involved. And finally, um, I want to thank Kevin Jacobson of Kevin Jacobson Creative because he did all the editing and producing. Thank you, Kevin. This would have been a mess without you, and I appreciate your time that you've donated to us. Finally, thanks to all of you for tuning in, for buying tickets, for buying raffle tickets, for bidding on items, for donating. Without all of you, we could not live up to our promise. That promise is that any family can participate at Chester Bowl regardless of their ability to pay or their income level. This will enable us to get, to award another $28,000 in scholarship requests if that's what comes in, to award another $8,000 in summer camp scholarships if that's what the requests are. All of you and your generosity make that happen. So thank you for being part of the Chester Bowl community. And we hope to see you at the event again next year.